Welcome back to OG's Tactical Book Review, Volume 1, and probably the only volume you'll ever see on this channel. Hey, I don't normally do this kind of thing, but I came across a book recently that I think you're going to like, and even Oliver likes it. And he only reads fiction. So the book I'd like to introduce to you today is a book called The 12 Gauge Shotgun, A Beginner's Manual for Home Protection, written by Charles Murray. I'm assuming that's how he pronounces his last name. Charles uh, is from South Africa, and if you know about the South Africans, you know that they know a thing or two about their defensive firearms and how to protect their homes and their persons. Charles contacted me a couple of months ago and sent me a link to his book. He asked if I would check out his book and uh, tell you here on the channel what I thought of it and see if maybe you'd be interested too. Well, normally I'm not into this kind of thing, but let me tell you, this book was something I could definitely recommend to you, and here's why. Unlike a lot of books on the shotgun, Charles has written this book about using the 12 gauge for home defense. He's not talking about bird hunting in this book. He's not talking about shooting trap or clays. He's simply talking about the shotgun for use in home defense, personal defense, and uh, for my purposes for on duty use. Kids, books are like YouTube videos that were once printed on paper for some reason, and now are printed on Amazon for use on your Kindle or your phone or your iPad. Charles has written a 377 page book. And in this book, he covers, well, pretty much everything you can even think of about the tactical shotgun for home defense. And he gets very, very detailed in this book. I think you're gonna find this interesting. Now, I'm not sure of Charles's background. I don't know if he's military or law enforcement in South Africa. But um, in first skimming through this book before I read the whole thing, it became very apparent that this guy knows his shit. He knows what he's talking about when it comes to the tactical shotgun. He breaks down things such as ammunition choices. The book is sort of written for beginners, but don't let that turn you off if you are an experienced shotgunner. I choose a shotgun for general home defense here at the OG compound, and I use one along with a rifle every single day in my patrol car at work. I know a little bit about the shotgun for use against two-legged predators. Even knowing what I know about the shotgun and even knowing most of what this book was about, I found it a very interesting read. One thing you should know up front is that Charles's book is written in English English because he's a South African. So you're going to notice a couple of words that are spelled differently and the use of things like meters and, you know, for those people who measure things in cabbages instead of inches and feet like we do. Being from South Africa, his book is mostly focused on home invasion style scenarios. People coming into your home where you need a tactical shotgun to defend yourself. And let's be honest, in the United States that's pretty much the use for our tactical shotgun. We're not really going to go out into our yard and wander down the street and repel zombies or uh, invaders to our cul-de-sac. We're going to use the shotgun for someone who comes into our house whether that's kicking in the door while you're sitting on the couch watching The Marvelous Miss Maisel on Netflix, or whether you're asleep and you hear a crashing in the night and you need to get up with your flashlight and a, and a tactical shotgun to uh, find out what just came into your house. Charles has included a lot of diagrams, a lot of photos in this book. Uh, They're very helpful for the beginner. This book is actually written, as it says right in the title, for the beginner and it will help describe the shotgun and the types of projectiles that can be used in a shotgun for home defense. So it is a book that's applicable for all the way from a brand new shotgun owner. If you just bought your first shotgun over the summer for home protection and you don't know that much about operating the shotgun for home defense, this is absolutely the book for you. He talks about such things as slugs, buckshot, birdshot, uh, different types of projectiles for home defense and what might be good for your type of home. Everybody's home's different, everybody's distances are different, so what works for you might not work for the guy next door. So keep in mind that there are places in the world that are not as lucky as we are where they can use a rifle for home protection and they are limited in fact to a shotgun. A lot of my viewers have written me and they are in the UK and yes, they do have a lot, quite a few shotguns on their farms in the UK. Uh, they might not be for home defense, but 
if the need came down, they could absolutely use that shotgun to defend themselves from death or serious bodily injury. I'm sure they'd be in a lot of trouble afterwards, fight their way through the court system, probably go to prison, but it absolutely would work for protecting your family and yourself from uh, home invaders. Mr. Murray talks about the different types of shotguns, whether it's a pump action like I have here on my lap or a semi-automatic. He talks about pistol grip shotguns, um, breech loading shotguns, double barrel shotguns, brake action shotguns. He includes a whole lot of diagrams here and photos of different types of shotguns. So if you're a new user and he's describing things like a Panzer bullpup shotgun, well, boom, there's a photo for you right there. This is a book that even idiots can read. Of course, Charles talks about the different parts of a shotgun from the bolt to the barrel, the, uh, the slide, the buttstock. He names all the different parts and shows you where it is that you should be holding a shotgun and how to properly mount a shotgun for use inside the home. That includes use in close quarters and how to use a long gun in close confined situations. This is why I think Charles must have some experience with this professionally. As I mentioned, Mr. Murray talks about the mounting of the shotgun from the low ready to the high ready, different port arms and different ways of carrying this shotgun or using this shotgun in confined spaces such as a home. It doesn't matter what size your home is. Whether you're watching from a single wide in Omaha or you're watching from your mansion in Beverly Hills, he will show you how to go through your home using the tactical shotgun for home defense. One of the tactics I found especially interesting was the short stocking a shotgun. This is a tactic I learned some time ago about running the butt of the shotgun up over your shoulder for use in confined spaces. You've now got a defensive weapon that is just reduced by 10 or 12 inches for use around tight spaces. He talks about verification of the point of aim and patterning your shotgun. And if you haven't, if you don't know anything about patterning your shotgun, go take a look at my video about the uh, simple shotgun for troubled times where I pattern different birdshot rounds along with standard buckshot and my favorite, the Federal Flight Control. He talks briefly here about the accessories for a shotgun. You don't need a whole lot of accessories for a shotgun, but in a home defense shotgun, I'm a big believer in that you need a sling, you need a light, and you probably ought to have somewhere on board the shotgun where you could carry spare ammunition. Those are pretty much the only things you really need on a shotgun. A sling is mandatory on your shotgun because it is the holster for the shotgun. We even talk about my favorite, the shotgun slug. A section I find particularly interesting is the use or how not to use specialty ammo, goofy things that, you know, zombie rounds and the flamethrower rounds, dragon breath, and things like that for home protection. You need to stick with pretty much just a slug or double lot buckshot, uh, even number four shot for home protection distances. Oh, we even have a section here on movement inside of a structure. That's good stuff. That's something that not just a fan of the shotgun would, uh, would know when he's putting together a book. So Charles has got some experience here. So folks, if you are looking for a book that's an easy read, it's a short read, but chock full of information. In fact, every page is just nothing but information and scenarios. You're gonna really like this. The 12 gauge shotgun, a beginner's manual for home protection. It's well written, it's well illustrated, it's well researched. He even puts a whole section in here on the end about all of the uh, reference materials that he looked for. And I especially like the section here where he came across a video by Tal Flatermouse in November of 2015 and references a slug video that we did. So if you're looking for something that's easy to read on a long winter night, or you just need something to read during your breaks at work, I think you're really gonna like this. As with anything on Amazon, it's gonna be very inexpensive to download this. I'm not gonna list the price here because it's probably uh, going to change by the time this even gets printed. But you know that downloading a Kindle book onto your devices is actually rather inexpensive. It's a good way to go because you're not buying any paper. Keep this on your phone, flip through it on your brakes, or uh, while you're driving down the road. So there it is, volume one of OG's Tactical Book Review, probably the only volume you're gonna get. You guys be safe out there. Stay armed where you are legally allowed to do so. And until next Tactical Book Review, OG out.